yo, what's crack and Challenger? I'm your host, James Morlin, and uh, something something's invading my aquarium right now. I do not know what they want. I don't know if I should try communicating with them, but they took over my aquarium right now. All right, so this is my 150-gallon aquarium, and something has invaded the top. What? Oh my gosh. Do you see these pirates? Um, my fish are obviously scared of them. They're hiding over there. Um, they're right there. He has a little Lego gun right there. Okay, we, we gotta figure out what they want. Oh my gosh. All right guys, so today I actually added this uh, this pirate ship to my aquarium and I, I filmed the entire process of what I did, including siliconing it, setting it in the aquarium, seeing how the fish interact with it. But it is really, really awesome. Like, it, it's really adorable. All right, so I'm gonna play that footage right now for you guys. Make sure you stay to the end of the video to get some important new updates about the fish room and some other things that are happening. It's a really entertaining video to have this in the aquarium. I have some cool close-ups of it as well. All right guys, here you go. Oh my gosh, do you guys see how adorable this thing is? Okay, so I found this this like Lego set for, it's not even Lego, it's like some off-brand thing. But I found this online, and I was like, I had to get it. So as, as you can see, it's like a little building block pirate ship, and uh, I, have, I have an idea to put it inside this aquarium. Um, so first of all, this is like, it took a while to build, I did not film that process, but it's actually like a really cool set. It has a couple pirates, yeah, and the, the entire ship is just made out of plastics. So if you don't know, like, Legos are just like a building block toy thing. Um, but basically, they're like hollow bricks that are inside of here. So I'm pretty sure if I were to just drop this in the aquarium that it would float. But I, I really want to make sure that it's not going to sink later because that actually, that'd be cool. It'd be like a sunken pirate ship. Ideas. <laughs> but for now, I don't want it to sink. I kind of want it to be like coasting on top. So it'll probably be about this far in the water, and I'll be able to see it outside of the aquarium. And I lowered the water level, it's usually this low, I lowered it a little bit more during my water change. But basically right now I'm going to go across with this aquarium safe silicone and just fill in all the gaps and everything. So that water won't really like fill in because it could tip and stuff, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. No bueno. I just need to start filling and I guess I'll film that. So yeah, again this is aquarium safe, so fish won't be um, affected it it does smell pretty bad gotta be honest there now I don't really know the extent of how much this is probably gonna leak I guess I'll just try putting it in the areas that I feel like would have the most chances of possibly filling up with water so the silicone is not the easiest to work with it's a thicker type but uh as you can see I filled in the top deck with silicone uh, because it might leak in through there there's like a little hole uh, so now we just gotta keep going um and filling in areas. Oh. Um, for most of the time for like construction silicone you can put inside this little like tube canister that like shoots it out for you but this is just like a little tube so I have to squeeze it out and it's kind of getting annoying but I gotta do it so it looks good. Um, I don't really want to like mess with the silicone so I need to be careful where I touch and where I apply pressure. So I didn't really completely come up with this idea on my own. There is another YouTuber out there and his name is Aqua Pros Mike. And uh, he's, he's a great YouTuber, he's a great guy, he has some awesome aquariums, he's given me a lot of advice and like assistance I guess with keeping my aquarium stuff and my YouTube channel. So uh, yeah he actually made like a Fortnite aquarium, I really recommend you guys checking it out. But I want to do like, I, I have a couple other ideas with Legos and uh, building block things. So if you want to see some videos like that, make sure you drop them in the comments. Bro that is sick, you can actually see like the silicone like glistening. Um, it smells pretty bad again, it's like vinegar based, so uh, yeah, now I'm gonna let this harden or like cure over the next couple hours and I will be back to add this thing into the aquarium so we can set sail. Like there's, there's even like a little captain on top, like how cute is that? Hang him from the yard! guys, the time is now to add this pirate ship into the aquarium. I've given it uh, like 30 minutes to an hour to dry, but I'm just so excited. I really want to see this go inside the aquarium. I know it's not completely cured, but honestly, if it sinks, it sinks and I'll have to go in and remove it. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I think it, I, I just, I can't wait. This is just so cool. 
Like, look at them. I had, I, I got some close-ups. You probably already saw that of the pirate ship with the captain and the little crew. Um, there is also, like, an anchor, and the anchor is so cute. I feel like I could put, like, food on there and, like, freeze-dried bloodworms or, like, bloodworms or something, and then drop it in there, and the fish can eat off of it. That would be so cool. Um, I'm not really concerned about mold. You guys know I had an issue in this aquarium. I'm still dealing with it. Some of it's growing back. I still need to scrub some areas. So the mold has gone down a bit, but I do need to pick up some extra, like, fish for this tank to help with it. But I guess let's just set sail and uh, let's put this boat into the aquarium. But before I do that, make sure you guys hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. That would mean a lot. And uh, this was quite a lot of work because building this thing was kind of hard. I mean, I used to play with Legos all the time. Like, I was really into the Star Wars Lego sets and, like, the city Lego sets. But, yeah. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's uh, let's drop it in there. So I'll have, to, I'll have to remove the camera to get some close-ups. But, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it sinks. Oh, it sinks bad. Uh-oh. Oh, it really, it honestly, it sinks so quick. Um, oh, fudge. Oh, it's like filled with water. Dang it! All right, oops. All right, plan B, I could use hot glue, which dries instantly. Or I could use like string and stuff to attach it. Or I could rest it on a piece of driftwood. I guess I'll try the driftwood plan. Oh snap! Bro! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, just so you know, the light is temporary. I'm actually getting a hanging one, but I, I need to show you guys. Okay, so it won't be free flowing, but look at this. Um, currently you can see all that plant matter. That, that is because one of my plants is propagating currently. I think it's the lotus or the dwarf lilies. But they send out like, uh, I forgot what this is called, but it's like, it sends out this stem thing and then plants grow off of it. The plants detach and then find themselves like that's in nature, but I'll have to remove these soon. And they've actually gotten really big. And it's a really nice plant too. Um, if you guys can help me out, I need some advice. So there's actually this really hard water stain on the outside. And anytime I try scrubbing it with like, um, I've tried vinegar, I've tried um, Windex and stuff, and I, I make sure when I'm using Windex, I spray it an angle downward, so like nothing can go over and into the aquarium. So if you guys can give me any advice for what I should do with that, that would be greatly appreciated. I also have a, I do have a, I do have a stain like this on another aquarium I need to get rid of. Um, but yeah, if you guys could give me some sort of advice to help. It's like really smooth too, it's not a scratch, I, I don't know if it's like a calcium thing. Or, uh, I don't know if I have to buff it out or something. It's it's glass, so I don't really know if you, how well you can buffer it. But, uh, yeah, so once this is hanging, that's going to be so cool. These guys are so awesome. I think I was talking about mold here earlier, but I didn't really mention why I talked about that. So, I'm not really concerned with mold growing on this, like, cloth um, and this string. But, like, the plastic, I don't really need to worry about mold growing on that. Uh, it is plastic. There's nothing really that mold can really grow onto. It's kind of like they crashed on the, on the rock island or on the wood island. I kind of need to level that out a little bit more. But that is so, so cute. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna move the little pirates around a little bit. Um, and then it'll fall into the sharks. Uh, I do not want to put too much pressure on the wood. All right, there he goes. He's look. He's waving at us right now. Good luck on your adventures, bro. Oh my gosh. Um, and the stains are also on the inside, but at the top. So like right here, um, I've used vinegar and stuff. And I don't want to get like a harder scrub. I don't know if that could damage the glass, but if I could, it would be so cool. <gasps> Wait. Oh, that's. It looks so cool underneath the water. But it's barely under the water. But the parts that are look really cool. It's like a boat in the in the aquarium. I mean, I could move it to a different aquarium. I could move it to like a 20 gallon or something, some smaller tank. I have another plan for this. This is kind of a test, but something awesome is coming soon to the entire fish room. So make sure you're subscribed for that. There's this little gun turret that they can use, I guess, to protect themselves from vicious sharks underneath the water. The Jeffs are very dangerous, as you guys can see. And for those of you that don't know, here on Challenger Wild, we call Neon Tetris Jeffs. So all of these guys in the aquarium are Jeffs. I did have a background, but it fell. Um, I, I need to find something better to secure it with. But yeah, you can see all the Jeffs in here. Ah. Oh. Um, so yeah, the mold, as you can see, is growing in on the sand too. I don't know if that's with the lighting cycle. I need to get something better for lighting um, timers. And you can see the wood looks a lot better than the fluffy, fuzzy mold on it. Um, and there's the angelfish. 
Now honestly, if you guys saw my past video where the angelfish laid eggs, you can see how aggressive she was. So these pirates do have something to fear and kind of be scared and worried about. Um, but yeah, you can see the pirate hook. I'm just saying, if I were to put food on this and like drop it into the aquarium and the fish bite off of it, like that, that that's viral, instant million views. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so happy. Like, I love incorporating things that aren't really for aquariums in aquariums. Like, this is a great decoration, too. Compared to, like, pet stores having, let's say, like, a, a tiki hut or, like, a viking helmet like I had, or Spongebob decorations or anything, building your own decorations with Legos is, is just very satisfying. Like, I might, I might just buy tons of sets and, like, deck this entire place out. Um, that'd be cool if I had, like, airplanes, like, hanging from the ceiling. I don't know, I think that's a great possibility. Yeah, I would really recommend you guys checking out some some sets or something. If you can go to your Walmart or Toys R... Oh wait, Toys R Us closed. R.I.P. Toys R Us. But if you can go to like Amazon or something, pick up some sort of Lego set, I'll probably find some links or something for some sets down below. But I would love to see if you have your own Legos, if you put them in your aquariums and see it. But make sure you guys wash them off before you put them in. Um, one thing I noticed is there are a lot of oils on it. So before I even assembled it, I washed it and everything. Um, and make sure you clean them off so it doesn't leave water stains because that happens if you don't dry it off completely. Uh, but yeah, you want to make sure there are no oils or anything else like that. And that's with all things you add to your aquarium because they can easily change the water chemistry of it. Um, this is plastic. It is inert, so I'm not really... So I'm not worried with it changing any of my values in my aquarium. Um, but... Oh my gosh, these guys are so cool. Oh, <laughs> I, I did order some other cool things, some other sets that are coming soon. Uh, oh my gosh. So if you want to learn more about this aquarium, I have a QR code here or on screen right there. But you are able to check out what's in this aquarium, what are the plants. I probably should update it, including this little uh, pirate ship. That, that'd be kind of cute. This might have been one of the best ideas I've ever had. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave you with a cute little cinematic of these guys. Um, it's, it was quite a bit of work to set this thing up. Uh, again, it would be really appreciated if you hit the like button. And also, hit the like button. And also, check out a special link down below. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you kind of know what it is. And that was what I was talking about earlier for this prize. But down there, you can join the email list to know when everything launches. And if you want to get plants right now, you can check out h2oplants.com. When you use the link down below, you get 10% off your order as well as you help me and the channel. So I can do more cool videos like this and set up some more awesome sets like this. Um, my discus, I, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to come back film on my Instagram at challenge.thewild or my personal Instagram at James Moreland. I'll probably post some things on my story. And guys, sad news. If you're watching this video on September 4th, Tuesday, today was my first day of school. Hopefully, hopefully you guys drop some nice comments to motivate me to get through this entire last year of high school. <sighs> okay, guys, so that's it. I'll catch you all on the Fluffy Flops. See you all later. Bye.